Bonjour, hola, ni hao. Today we're going to be talking about the language of finance. This reminds me of a time when I went to lunch with a friend of mine. He's the executive chef of one of the hottest restaurants in LA. And I asked him, so how was dinner last night? Little did I know the answer he would give me. So he starts out and said something like this. Oh man, we had over 90 covers, two 12 tops, a bunch of four tops, and tons of VIPs. By nine, we were really cruising, totally slammed, and had already 86 striper and tatine. I was running past when this huge pickup happened. We were doing Swan Ye, risotto with chanterelles. The pickup time was like 20 minutes, and I got this really green cook on saute, fired her a four by four by three, and half a dozen more on order. But when we got to the plate, she had two short orders, so I had to fire two more on the fly. She was totally out of her element. We were so weeded, food's dying on the pass, the rail is jammed up with dupes, the salamander stopped working, my porter no-showed. I really thought we might go down, but we managed to pull it off. For all intents and purposes, my friend could have been talking Swahili to me. I didn't understand a bit of it. Just like professional chefs, doctors, people in the finance sector also have their own language. When analyzing a company, it is important to ask some very basic questions. How much cash does the company currently have? How much revenue has the company made since its beginning? How much revenue did they make last year? Does the company have any debt? So where can we find all these answers? A good place to start would be to look at the company's financial statements. Every company publishes these financial statements on their website in their investor relations section. Learning how to read a financial statement is like learning a new language. If you want to find a good stock to invest in, you need to speak the language of finance and read their financial statements. So just like learning any new language, it is difficult at first, but the more you practice, the more fluent you will become. In this lesson, we will identify the three financial statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flows. And we will teach you how to successfully read them. So adios and arrivederci.